Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from mensuration. Now, this question has two sub questions. So, let us start with the first one. The first sub question is the diagram shows a tank in the shape of a half cylinder of radius 12 cm and length 1 meter. The tank is fixed horizontally and is completely filled with water. Calculate the volume of the water in the tank and give your answer correct to the nearest 10 cubic centimeter. So let us try to understand the question first. Here they have given a tank which is in the shape of half cylinder and the radius of the cylinder is given as 12 centimeter and the length or the height of the cylinder is given as 1 meter and the tank is completely filled up with water. So we need to find out the volume of the water present in the cylinder. So let us begin by writing first the formula for volume of a cylinder which is pi times r square times h where r is the radius of the cylinder and h represents the height or the length of the cylinder. But here a half cylinder is given and this half cylinder is completely filled up with water. So here we write volume of water is equal to volume of half a cylinder. So here basically we have to divide the formula for volume of cylinder by 2 to get it as volume of half a cylinder. So let us write here volume of half a cylinder is pi r square times h divided by 2. Now here in this case the radius is given as 12 centimeter so we have written r as 12 and the height or the length of the cylinder is 1 meter. Since the volume is asked in cubic centimeter we are going to convert this meter into centimeter that is 1 meter is written as 100 centimeter. Now here we need to just substitute the value of r and h so we get pi times in place of r we have substituted 12 so 12 square times h is 100 divided by 2. Now this will give you 22,619.467 cubic centimeter. Since we have to round it to the nearest 10 centimeter cube we are going to look at these two last digits just before the decimal point and the nearest 10 to 19 is 20. So we are going to round it and write it as 22,620 cubic centimeter. So this is the volume of the water in half cylinder. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Water is removed from the tank until the level of water is 6 centimeter below the top of the tank. The diagram shows the cross section of the tank. Calculate the volume of water that is now in the tank. So it is the same half cylinder which we were solving in the part 1 of this question and here the cross section of the cylinder is shown. Now some water is removed from the cylinder such that its level has fallen down by 6 cm from the top of the tank. Now we have to find out what is the volume of the remaining water in the tank. So let us solve this by using some construction for the given figure. Now this is the same half cylinder which we had referred in part 1 of this question. And now we are looking at the cross section of the cylinder. Now this represents a semicircle as we can see. So here we have drawn a semicircle. And the center of the semicircle I have considered it as O. And the radius of the cylinder was given as 12. So we have marked here 12 cm. Now from the center of the semicircle I have drawn two lines which touches the end of this segment. So we have labeled it as OP and OQ. And then we have joined PQ. So that OPQO now makes a sector and if we consider this shaded region the PQ represents segment within this given sector and OP and OQ are the radii of the semicircle. So if here the radius is given as 12 cm OP and OQ also become 12 cm and the distance of the center from the segment is given as 6 cm as we can see over here. Now since this represents a sector we can see that the sector is made up of two shapes. One is the triangle POQ and the other is the segment PQ. So here we have written area of the sector OPQO is the sum of area of triangle POQ plus area of segment PQ. But here we need to find out the area of the segment PQ because ultimately we need to find out the volume of this shaded region. So we are going to send area of the triangle on the other side of equal to sign. So we get area of the segment PQ is equal to area of the sector OPQO 
minus the area of triangle POQ. Now to begin with let us consider the area of the sector OPQO and the formula for area of sector is theta over 360 times pi times r square. Now theta represents the central angle of the sector that is angle POQ in this case and r represents the radius which is 12 cm. But here we do not know the value of the central angle. To find that out let us consider the right angle triangle POR. So let me separately draw this over here. So here we have drawn the right angled triangle POR. The length of OP is 12 cm and the length of OR is 6 cm and the angle POR we have considered it as alpha. Now here to find out the value of alpha we have to make use of the trigonometric ratios. Now the side opposite to alpha is PR. So this represents the opposite side. Now the side opposite to the 90 degree is 12 cm. So this becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side becomes the adjacent side. Now here in this right angle triangle the hypotenuse is given and the adjacent side is given and opposite side is not given. So we can make use of the cosine trigonometric ratio and write it as cos alpha is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse which is equal to 6 over 12 or taking cos on the other side of the equal to sign we get alpha is equal to cos inverse of 6 over 12 which gives us the value of alpha as 60 degree. Now here theta is nothing but twice the angle alpha. So if alpha is 60 degree the angle theta is going to be 2 times 60 which is 120 degree. So here we have marked theta as 120 degree. Now since we have got the value of theta we have the value of radius. Let us substitute in this formula. So we get 120 over 360 times pi times 12 square. So this will give us the value as 150.7964. Now since this is an intermediate step make sure that you take at least 4 digits after the decimal point to get an accurate final answer. Now once we have got the area of the sector let us focus on finding the area of the triangle POQ. So let me draw this separately over here now. Now here we have drawn the triangle separately POQ. Theta was 120 so we have marked over here and side OP was 12 and side OQ was 12. Now the formula to find out the area of the triangle POQ is half times the side OP times the side OQ times the sine of the angle which is in between the given two sides. So in this case it is angle O. Now substituting the value of OP and OQ we have 1 over 2 times 12 times 12 times sine of angle O which is 120. Now this will give us the value of area of triangle POQ as 62.3538 cm square. Now again we have taken it to 4 decimal places to get precise answers. Now once we have got this let us substitute the values of area of sector and area of triangle to get the area of segment. So we have so here we have written area of the segment PQ is equal to 150.7964 minus area of triangle that is 62.3538 that will give us the area of the shaded segment as 88.4426 cm square. But here we need to find out the volume of the remaining water. So here let us again draw the same figure given. So we have got the cross section area of the segment. But now to find out the volume we have the formula for volume of the remaining water as base area which is the area of the segment times height or the length of the cylinder which is 1 meter. So here in place of base area we can write the area of the segment PQ times the height is nothing but the length of the cylinder so we have written length. Now substituting the value of area of segment we have written here 88.4426 times changing the meters into centimeter we have written 1 meter as 100 centimeter. Now this will give us the value as 8844.26 cubic centimeter. Now this is the volume of the remaining water. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.